Hey, I just wanted to take a second and show you what I was talking about when it comes to virtual keyboards on Android. This is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, uh, T-Mobile version, or AT&T for that matter. Um, Verizon has a version that's all but uh, identical to this. So anyway, I want to show you just a couple of examples of the keyboards that are available. So I'm going to open up this Facebook post where we're talking about it. And so I go down here and to the write a reply section, open it up, and I'm actually going to switch back to the stock Android keyboard. This is running 4.2.1 Jelly Bean for those of you who want to know. So um, there's two different ways you can use these keyboards. You can just type the message into it. So if I want to say the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, quick brown fox, you can just type it like that. Or you can also swipe your finger around the keyboard like this. Jumps, and so you can see that the prediction is actually popping up right above my finger here as I'm swiping around. And it changes the further I go. And it's very accurate. It, it really has a lot of correction on it. So you can kind of wildly swing your finger around here and it still gets a good answer. So that's one example. So he's shaking her collar over here. Uh, another great thing about Android is you can actually use your voice to do the typing. So I'm going to touch the little voice icon here and I'll speak the sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Perfect. Um, you can also say period, exclamation point, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to go back to the keyboard. So it, it nailed that translation. So now I'm going to go over and change it to Swift Key, which is a third-party keyboard. And I've, I've been using Swift Key for a long time, and they just came out with this version called Flow that has a similar effect to it. So in the same way, you can swipe your finger around the quick brown fox. And I've already typed the sentence before, so it actually could predict the next word. So it jumps over the L for lazy dog, period. And it uses the same voice action as, as uh, Android does, so it's going to have a very similar effect if I do that. So I just hold down the voice button. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, period. Got it. Perfect. So. Those are just some examples of what you can use on Android to type whatever it is, just about wherever it is. So I just wanted to show you a real example so you can see what it looks like. So I know a lot of people like the idea of a slide out keyboard, but my wife has one and she's had the phone for, what, two years now and she barely ever uses that keyboard. She uses the virtual one because she likes it so much better. So anyway, there's some examples for you just for inspiration. Hope it helps.